even if you stay away from South by Southwest, you will likely notice the traffic that comes with the festival. Remember, in those crowds are innovators, and some of them might be able to solve Austin's traffic problems. Check out this idea. This is Pearl Street near the University of Texas campus. And here's a rendering of what that street would look like with automated electric pods. KXA and investigator Kevin Schwaller shows us why an Austin entrepreneur wants to use a system similar to this to zip travelers all around Austin. When looking at how to solve Austin's traffic woes, we hear about changes to the roadways or even rail. Well, a presenter today at South by Southwest pitched another idea, a different way to get around town that he says comes with a tenth of the price of a new light rail system. This is the kind of system Austin entrepreneur Richard Garriott wants to see in Austin. It's called personal rapid transit, and the technology is already running at West Virginia University. But it's larger vehicles that carry, you know, 16, 20 people at a time, uh, mostly through two uh, destinations, two ends of a campus. What he's pitching is a system with smaller cars traveling at about 35 miles per hour. And then you are point to point at full speed until it opens up at your destination and you're at your destination only. Garriott also wants to start on a campus at the University of Texas and possibly extend out to the airport or the domain eventually. All we really need is people not to say no. Garriott wants to build this system with private money. He hopes to have contracts in place by the end of the year to start getting this idea off the ground. Austin City Council Member Ann Kitchen also listened to Garriott speak. She says it's exciting for entrepreneurs to be applying their creativity to transportation issues. She says his approach is a realistic one by looking at UT Austin first. However, she still needs to learn more about the idea. Reporting in downtown Austin, Kevin Schwaller, KXAN Investigates. Again, Gary, it says this system could be built without any taxpayer money. He says the company already has most of the funding together, and now it comes down to getting all the approvals from local governments to the property owners as well. We also checked today in to see another transportation innovator in Austin. Cardigo's Austin general manager says he welcomes more ways to navigate around Austin. We work really well with other transportation options in town, so uh, working closely with transit options, uh, with bike sharing options, um, that sort of thing has really helped us. Cardigo started in Austin in 2009. It lets users drive and drop off cars at designated spots. It's another example of a company coming up with new concepts for transportation. Two years ago, Austin taxpayers rejected a plan to spend tens of millions of dollars on a limited light rail system. 57% of Austin voters defeated a $600 million proposal to build a nine and a half mile long rail line. It would have started at ACC's Highland Campus and then ended up south of downtown along Riverside Drive. It had passed the city. If it had passed, the city would have also targeted $400 million for road projects.